2NURFM, a broadcast service of the University of Newcastle. Uh, Professor Claire Collins and I have just been sitting here talking about My Kitchen Rules and I'm embarrassed that I've been sucked into it, but I have. I can't, I can't not. I'm a weak man. I'm loving it. I don't think you're telling us anything we didn't already know. <laughs> Thank you for that. And I don't think you're going to get any low salt recipes on that show, by the way. No, no, there was no, no. Twice cooked with uh, well, when, when they're using lard and duck fat, you know that it's probably not going to pass the and Claire you know test. What? You know what? That's why we've just lived through Australia's Healthy Weight Week, with the big focus is on cooking, fantastic tasting meals, but by the way, they're healthy as well. And this year we had big focus on young men who may or may not, you may or may not find in the kitchen. Well, I think more men are, and there's nothing wrong with being in the kitchen. I, it's, whether you do it because you've got to survive or whether you do it because you like it, it doesn't really matter, but there is no reason that young guys can't cook. It's just an excuse and it's Ab- laziness. Absolutely, and one of the taglines was encouraging everyone to get their man in the kitchen, which mm. is a really good strategy. And one of the things that we know is that young guys in general, though, don't know much about nutrition. They know what food they like and what they want to eat. but That's is, about where it ends, does it? Well, it's a secret weapon for guys if you want to save money for things that you want is learning how to cook. But one of the stumbling blocks for guys that they tell us is that what they eat often depends on what their mates eat. So it's actually getting their mates with them in the kitchen and learning how to throw a few, barbie, uh, through <laughs> a few vegetables on, on the, the barbie. barbecue as well and that tastes absolutely amazing so all you need to do is chop up your favorite veggies a drizzle of olive oil a bit of balsamic vinegar throw them on the barbie with the steak and honestly your mates will be lining up for seconds what age group are we talking about here realistically okay so 18 to about 25 Mm -hmm. key time for guys often leave home move in move in with their mates maybe studying moving cities getting a job for some guys getting married and so it's a key time to learn to plan ahead, be aware that of of the distractions, what your mates are eating really makes a difference. I just I find it bizarre that that they don't know what a balanced diet is. There's so much information around at the moment, and there wouldn't be too many young guys who aren't uh, haven't come into contact with the internet at some stage or other. I, I still find it in 2017 bizarre that people go, I don't know what to eat. Well, I think it's really hard because there's so much promotion. So I wrote an article for The Conversation just discussing that very point, what is a balanced diet? Because someone said to me, if I eat good half the time and bad stuff the other half the time, does that even out make my diet balanced? And I went, unfortunately, no, because the really crappy stuff, the junk food, it tends to dominate then in kilojoules. So what a balanced diet technically means in sciencey language is that you get enough nutrients to keep your body running really healthy. And then the invisible things you can't see. Mm. But there it's things like folate that looks after your DNA. So your body is working quietly on your behalf to try and protect you from cancers and to repair the DNA that gets damaged just because of the way we live your body needs folate to repair the DNA. And so if you don't eat any vegetables, guys, if you don't eat any vegetables, and we know that 95% of Australians don't eat eat enough vegetables, Mm. then you're not giving your body the chance for its own self-repair, self-healing mechanisms to work. I suppose what you don't know, you don't know, do you? You you think, okay, well, I feel fit enough. I can. If we're looking at guys at the moment, um, I go and play football at the weekend, I do that okay, I can run, I can go to the gym, I can do it. So I'm I'm, I'm feeling pretty fit. But if you, what you don't know, the devil is in the detail. And if you, the things, as you said, that you just don't know are happening behind the scenes. Well, some of the interesting things that young guys we did a survey in our Hayman study and this is 18 to 25 year old guys and they said that they'd be interested in eating better to feel better in themselves and to also help them attract a partner ah okay. so there's an immediate benefit of you know finding out more about nutrition and that's just one of the reasons that we're actually launching this massive it's called a MOOC a massive open online course which is free and it's called the science of weight loss dispelling the diet myths i've got a better one for you than that yeah put down the burger pick up the babe
<laughs> uh, what do you think about that for, for the boys? I, gotta... I think we're going to have to bring you over to our priority research centre and give you a job. Not a problem at all. Yeah. Hey, before I let you go this morning, the science of weight loss, this is pretty, pretty exciting. Dispelling diet myths, a free six-week course beginning, beginning mid-April, April the 12th. Yeah, so there's plenty of time to enrol. It's not only for young men. They are one of the groups that we know would like more information but don't know where to find it. But what... When people start on a weight loss diet, there are so many fads out there and they get really confused. That's why we've created this course. There'll be participants from all over the world. We've created some fun technology ways to learn more about the very basics so that if you, you'll be able to identify a fad diet, you'll understand kilojoules, which is just a measure of energy, which is really a measure of heat. So where are kilojoules, what's in them? Um, about macronutrients, protein, fat and carbohydrate and what is a healthy approach to improving your nutrition so that your weight can take care of itself or if there's a medical need, need for weight loss, what would that involve? So we're pitching the course at anyone who wants to join, especially people who are trying to help other people manage their weight. So their any nutrition. age group? Any age group. It can be, you know, right up to 90 or, or beyond. So there's, there's no restriction on the age group. Yep. Excellent. If you'd like some more details, head to 2 and the Morning Show page or give us a call 49215555. Claire, we'll have a chat to you in a couple of weeks. Look forward to it.